Mark 9, verse 41. For whoever gives you a cup of water to drink in my name, because you belong to Christ, assuredly, I say to you, he will by no means lose his reward. Well, I don't think it was ironic that my brother and friend Eugene came and brought me a bottle of water. Seal wasn't broke. I wanted to say something to him when he brought it to me before the services, but I wanted to wait for this moment. And there's many times I've been in churches and I might have 15 glasses of water up here because of that one verse of scripture. But you see, that's a reverence. It's not a reverence to me. It's a reverence to the anointing that I have simply submitted and yielded to God say, use me, Lord. Use me, Lord. For the benefit of your people, use me, Lord. Not to glorify me, not to edify me, not to exalt me, because it's all about Jesus. All I want to do is be an instrument, an example. And believe me, to be an example for the people of God is to go through all the pitfalls, all the snares. Find yourselves in the gallows. Many, many times somebody wanting to put the noose around your neck. Just in time, God delivers you that you may have another testimony to give, that people's hope may be raised, that their faith may be exalted, that they may endure what they're going through right now, being prepared for what's coming tomorrow. It'll become to the place to where you'll think, well, this is nothing. And have you had people come to you before and say, oh, brother, sister, I'm going through this, and you know it's so bad, and you're thinking, well, what's the problem? I remember I had a, brother who even traveled with us and ministered with us, he lost his job. And man, I mean, he was panicking, had no children, no wife, no car payment, no house payment. He said, brother, I only got $6,000 in savings. He's in his 20s. My God, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Get a grip. Where is our faith? Is it in the money or is it in our God? You see, it doesn't have anything to do with the money. It has to do with who you know, not what you have. Because he can always give you more. And many times I've seen God give and take away just to get people's attention. I was there. I have the t-shirt and the hat to match. <laughs> Truly, I've been there. But I've also come to realize that, you know, time and time again, you look at the checkbook and you look at the pile of bills, oh well, it's not my problem. Now I used to think, that's a lazy man's statement. I used to think, you know, that's a good for nothing soul. But I realized it's much harder to walk away from that and say, it's not my problem, than it is to get out there and work my fingers to the bone. Because I've done that too. And I realized the harder I worked, the deeper the hole got. And then I finally found out when the Lord said, throw the shovel out of the hole and I'll help you out. Because all I was doing was making a deeper hole. The more I tried to do, the bigger the mess got. That's where a lot of us are now. We've got to get out of that. Stop. Listen. What is he saying? Do that and everything else will fall in place. 